Hello. Hi guys. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, I'm just putting my epoxy together. Um, wait a few minutes for um, people to come in. Hello everybody. Charlene. <laughs> kind of, uh, you guys are out in my garage today. So, uh, at my uh, turning table instead of my craft room desk. So this is, can y'all let me know if you can hear me okay? Just so I make sure I'm talking loud enough. Um, see, I don't think you guys can see my big old table, but I've got a six cup turner table here. Um, but I think I've got you pretty much zeroed in on this one. Um, I've got, hey guys, let's see. Ah, that's the camera. Don't put your thumb over the camera. So I've got a couple of cups here, a couple of cups there, but we're going to focus on this one today. I know I had uh, someone asking me to do a glitter peekaboo, so I've started that cup over there. That's the bright colored one. And then these are, of course, my my little micas. Um, those are, you guys are been watching the Disney saga. Um, I had a 12 cup custom uh, Disney order and she just changed her villain order to punk princesses so that's what those uh, chameleons and mica cups are for but anyway today it looks like we've got hi everybody oh thank you Ellen you can hear me okay cool um, I'm going to be looking down a lot so if I don't catch your questions um, I know Tracy's here I think she's probably done this. Tracy's done a lot of stuff. Um, she probably can help you. If not, I will get back to you. Hi, Don. Um, I will, I will try and get your question. I'll try and look up. Um, but I'm, you know, got already got bifocal, so I'm greatly confused all the time anyway. Um, so I am just getting my epoxy ready. Um, as a little background. Hi, Wendy. Kimberly. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm gonna look down now. Uh, okay, so the glitter cup, and I really should have brought the example out. Um, let me go grab it. Hold on one second. is lightning <laughs> um, okay so these are the cups that I'm kind of uh, gonna show y'all how to do this is um, a black glitter vase base alcohol ink swirl um, it's not hard they're really fun to do um, you can I like using black underneath because you can get a very cool um, effect with the when the alcohol ink doesn't blend in that up there. Um, I don't know if you can see when the alcohol ink doesn't blend in this is the Maleficent one that I just did um, part of that order so when the alcohol ink doesn't blend in it still gives a really cool coloring to the glitter so um, it's one of the reasons I love I'm doing these and try not to touch my other cups. Sorry, I have a stand of six cups up there. So, anyway, um, so what you want to start off with is, and you can do these on, um, I've done a few of these on the tumblers and they're really neat. Um, and yes, I use popsicle sticks. Um, I'll tell you my trick about popsicle sticks. I don't doesn't bother me at all. A lot of people don't like popsicle sticks. They say it has they have water and cause more bubbles and um, I spray my popsicle sticks with rubbing alcohol before I use them. Um, let it dry for a second and boom, off I go. So anyway, um, you want to start with a uh, colored base. So if you're doing black, a black ba base. Um, 
one I have done, and I'm still not sure if I like it or not. Um, actually, I know I don't like it because I put it in the strip pile. I did a red glitter um, base and uh, a white, black, and gold swirl. And it was pretty. I mean, my family thought it was cool, but it wasn't what I was going for, so I just may start over. You know me, I like to go. <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you, Jen. Uh, yeah, Tracy, I, I, I have found that uh, I like, I like these because I can really get into the crevices, um, and. So many people were talking about the water stuck in these, and I thought, well, I use rubbing alcohol. Boom, shakalaka, done. Anyway, so um, I'm using Promarine. Um, I do a combo. I use Promarine and Faux Rizzle. Um, when I am doing a base coat with then a flood coat, I will use Promarine because Faux Rizzle doesn't, is such a thick epoxy that doing two quick successive successions of epoxies is just not it's just so thick and it gets the cup to be so heavy because you inevitably have to sand and do another coat and you know decals and all of that so um, I use Promarine for this because I do a base coat and I glitter it I'm a Mod Podge glitterer um, hey Sue you didn't miss anything um, I let the glitter set up I do a four hours ago I put a thin coat of Promarine epoxy on and it's a 20 and a half ounce wine glass these are glass wine glasses um, so I did about 10 to 15 uh, milliliters of uh, Promarine and I let it spin for four hours and now I'm going to do a flood coat but because I'm kind of, um, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Stingy about my time. <laughs> I don't want to do a flood coat and then wait another, you know, 12 hours for it to cure before I do it. So I do this all in the flood coat um, because I will have to do a sand and um, another coat anyway. So if I can combine coats so I don't have to have super heavy product, um, it saves me on shipping and it's doesn't quite feel so weird um, in a customer's hands. So anyway, so I've mixed up my Promarine. I don't have, I have a few bubbles, but not a lot. Um, I also like using, I'm sure a lot of you do this, but I like using these clear um, cups because I can look in there and see if I have any of those streaks. And if I don't, then I know I'm good to go. Um, I also do like to heat up my Part A um, pretty warm because I find that I get less bubbles when I do it that way so you guys are gonna be really bright light for just a second so I apologize but this is how I check my epoxy and it's also what I, I also have uh, it's a very bright light so that way it shines on the cup so when I am doing my torch I can see all the bubbles and I can see that it's um, lifting can you guys still see the cup with that light on or should I turn it off? Let me know when you get a chance. I Okay, so here we go. Yes, you can see? Okay, cool. All right, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a thin layer. Ah! what is that I hate little um my husband brought me these lint free cloths from Lowe's they lie they are not lint free so um okay alright cool so this is still really really tacky <laughs> um, ah! don't turn the live off right can you guys hear me still 
someday I will figure out technology because I have never been able to figure out how to turn the alarm off uh, while I'm doing a live. So all I'm doing now is I'm doing a nice flood coat on the cup. I have a lot of people um, ask about how you don't, how you can get less bubbles or they have problems with bubbles. I have, I have fight with my edges, um, but I found when I was first starting, it's pretty heavy handed and I was causing bubbles by the pressure of my hand. Um, so now I use a really light touch, um, especially when I'm doing a flood coat because I really want this stuff to turn. Like I said, I fight with my edges all the time. It's just been um, ongoing battle. And I think it's because I torch too much at the bottom. And so the epoxy pulls away. I haven't tested that theory yet, but I'm pretty sure that's part of it. Okay, so um, I put the flood coat on and then I'm going to torch it. Whoa! My torch just blew out. That's awesome. At least it didn't catch my epoxy on fire. I had another torch do that one time and it just That the, the cup went with fire. It was very interesting. Terrifying, actually. So, okay, so I'm going to let that spin for just a few seconds while it levels out. And then I have the alcohol inks. Now, um, I'm going to go choose. Um, One second, real quick. So while that's turning, I got another cup over here. I'm just going to put this epoxy on so I don't waste it. Um, so while that's turning, you want it to level out. And I heat it with the torch not only to get the um, bubbles out but to also get it flowing because you really want the epoxy to be flowing um, while you're doing it because you're going to want swirls and movement with your alcohol inks. Okay. Now I'm just putting this epoxy on this other cup so I don't waste it. But I also want to make sure that I keep a little extra for what I call folding back. Um, and I don't know, I was telling Emily about this the other day. I'm sure somebody else has done this before and has a name for it, but I just discovered it and I call it folding back. So <laughs> I will show you what that means in just a second. Um, so does anybody have any preferences on what color alcohol links they want me to do? Or you want me just to do the blues? Can you all see? see comments all of a sudden 
Something happened? Can y'all hear me? Okay, I don't know if I'm missing uh, comments or not. Or if you guys just gave up on me. Um, okay, so... I'm just torching this other cup so I can get rid of my bubbles. Okay, so it sat for a little while. You always want to make sure you have extra, thank you, Sue. Um, you have a little extra epoxy. I'm just gonna start with, um, I like to stand up when I do this, so. And just start applying the alcohol inks. And you have to decide kind of before you start if you're going to have an area where you don't want color. Like I, I like to have some of it showing through. So I'll leave a section that's kind of open. Um, we're going to do purple and blue. This is mermaid. So you just kind of put splotches here and there and everywhere. Purple and blue. Ooh. What about this one? This is magenta. We like magenta. Although magenta can take over a cup, so I use it kind of sparingly. Kind of like gold um, when you put it on. Oops. When you put it on a cup. Now you can't probably see much of the colors, and if y'all have worked with these before, you know um, the trick is the white. The trick is the white. Okay, so what I do is I put my colors on, I kind of overlap them a little bit, and then I'm going to add my white in so it drizzles and you can start to see the colors come out Of course, you know which direction your uh, colors are going to move. So sometimes if I want it to go down on this side, I'll push it that way. All right, so I've got the colors. You can see they're starting to bloom and everything. Um, I'm going to hit it real quick. Hopefully I don't set anything on fire again. So I hit it real quick with the torch. Then I take it off. Take it off the spinner and I hold it up. And you can see it starts to move. It's best to hold it up and down. Don't worry about it dripping. Make sure you have your paper towels underneath. Um, and then you move it down or turn it down. I need some more white here. I like adding the colors. Depends on what I what kind of effect I'm going for. If I'm going for something that's strictly a swirl, I usually won't add in the up down position. Um, but because this one, I kind of want it to do all kinds of swirls and stuff. Oh no, I don't know. Tracy, how do I make that go away? Do you know? I can do cups. I cannot do technology, people. 
Okay, so then I just let it go down some more. And you can use them. Um, if you decide to use um, a heat gun, which a lot of people do heat guns, that's cool. It will move. Um, I like doing it this way because I have more control on how it moves. Like right now, I want it to go down the side. If I wanted to, all of it to move down, like see this part right here? It's not moving so much. So I just heat it up. Ooh. Then I go this way. And you can see it start to move. You see it blooming? I call them, it's like kind of like flowers. They just start to bloom and pull out in a way. Um, okay, then I put it back on the turner. Now, I'll go and see, okay, like some of this white, um, it hasn't spread that much. And you know, as it turns, as it spins, it will spread some more. But um, I'm gonna add just a little, a few more drops of color. And some more heat. Now, when I was talking about folding back epoxy, um, what I mean is if I get, if like on the Maleficent, I did not want color on her face. So sometimes um, color goes where it goes, you know, with epoxy, it just kind of runs and moves. Um, so what I'll do is show you. See if there's an area on here I want to move the epoxy around. Yeah, I see an area. Okay, so in this purple splotch right here, okay, I really want to see some more black in there. So what I'll do is I'll take my extra epoxy and I'll pour it. And I don't know if, and I hope you can see it. It starts to push out um, the color that's there. And I'll turn it a little to the right, a little to the left, front, back, side to side. So anytime it's like not moving or not, um, or it's covering an area too much, or I want, you know, I want something else to happen there. Like I always add a little clear epoxy to the middle and then I spin it. So this is what I call, and I call it folding back. I'm sure there's somebody else has done it a long time ago and uh, has a better name for it, but because it's folding back, the, the color folds back over itself. So it gives, um, it looks like there's more movement, more action in the colors. So I don't know if you can see that. So it's folding back. I like to heat. I like to make my, my colors move. So I'm always heating it and going. Um, so that's really it, guys. Does anybody have any questions? How do I not set things on fire? <laughs> so this is all I do. I just keep messing with this cup until... Um, I have all the colors like I like them. Can you can you guys see how it's? Uh, will it help if I turn that light off? I can't I can't see you guys. You're just a big old glare. So anyway, so I have this area that I've left open. So if I want to do a name or some kind of something or other, um, I can. But right now I'll just sorry I took it out of frame. Keep turning it upside down, letting that white move around. OK. 
again I want to fold back this color right here So if, I don't know if you can see how it kind of like blossoms out like that. Thank you, Sue. Upside down. And by the way, the drops on these, if you have parchment paper underneath, they're really cool. So you can see that part where I folded back, the color's folding out now. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I'm gonna kind of let this spin for a while and see how it does. And I'll just come out and keep an eye on it um, to make sure that nothing's gone terribly awry. Um, there are times I will stick my finger in there and do a little movie movie. I don't like something, I just move it out of the way or I take it off. So, um, if can you see the glitter let me see maybe if i turn the light off y'all can see Woo! okay is that better okay so um you can use glitter in this when you're doing this you can also do um i was just talking with emily about this uh if you put some of the alcohol ink in like a needle nose and you add some um, mica to it, you can use it and do that in here as well. Um, let's see, you can do all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just, one thing I'd say, I'm not afraid to mess around with my epoxy. A lot of people are afraid like, oh my God, it's gonna like make it all bumpy or it's gonna, you know, like right now, I don't like that spot. I'm just gonna take my finger. Whoa. And I, so many people are like afraid to touch their epoxy. I know y'all, I know Sue isn't. Um, <laughs> so I just get in there and play with it and see what colors do what. Um, I think I would add a little bit more green up here. Uh, but I really, I like how I have peekaboo. Um, can you guys see the peekaboos in here? Um, you can see the, like the little glitter spots that are coming through and like I said, there's um, let's see, You can see on this one I can hold it up closer to you. Okay, so there's black glitter behind it But if you see there's the green right here The white didn't get all the way into it. So it makes makes it looks like makes it look like there's teal glitter But it's it's racking off it's a Geisha Glimmer Rackinoth Black, which I love behind all of my uh, sparkly cups. Um, and that's what's behind here. So, um, and I use a combination. I don't have a preference on, well, I do have a preference on alcohol inks, but not one company has all the colors I like. So I use Tim Holtz and Pinata. Um, yeah, Tracy, I'm so bad. I have to stop myself all the time. I'm like, my family's favorite thing is walk away, mom, walk away. And I'm like, but, like right now, see, I'm going to do something because I don't like it. Um, and they'll be like, but, but it's fine, mom, it's fine. I'm like, no, it's not. It's, it's sad. It's lonely. It needs more, needs more loving. Need more loving. Now the key is always with these things is always the white. The white is what kicks these colors out and moves them around, um, makes them pop. But you also don't want to, um, like if I were to just leave this, I would just have these ugly white blotches. I shouldn't say ugly. Some people like them like that actually. Um, let's see if I can set something else on fire. Which you can, with alcohol ink, set your cup on fire, by the way. So you got to be really sparing, just so you know. So you can see how it's kind of mixing in. But again, I'm going to take it off and do my to and fro. Another cool thing, um, if you don't want to um, do this, is 
if you heat up your extra epoxy, see how it's moving down? If you heat up your extra epoxy and put it in, it helps fold back. So here's my green over here that I did. Some white above it, and I want it to come down in there and to move it. And that's it. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, can you see how it's moving down? It's like slow motion action film. <laughs> um, eh, 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 go down. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to let this spin, hoping it will. Oh, that's really cool. I'm really digging that right there. I'm really wanting this to spin a little bit. So I'm going to put it on the spinner, let it turn for a while, and see what happens. And that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to sit down and look up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If not, thanks for joining me. Um, Hopefully it wasn't too boring. <laughs> and you guys can uh, tell me what you're working on. Thank you, Kimberly. Doesn't help. All right, guys, I will check out. Thanks for stopping in. And, um, oh, I do have, just a heads up, probably a couple of days I'm going to do, um, I don't think I'm going to do this one, but I've got the peekaboo uh, coming up. And woo, I've got this one that's going to be, can you all guess what this one's going to be? Ah! almost dropped it. Woohoo, what is this one gonna be? I wonder, I wonder. And it's not USC. <laughs> anyway, that one's drying. But I do have the um the peekaboo that's going to be a music note peekaboo. So okay. That'll be in oh thank you Marilyn. Um thank you Tracy so yeah, so that's it for today. Uh, I will be back probably Tuesday with another uh, tutorial, but I'll post it, okay? Can I show my Maleficent cup again? Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see, can y'all see it? I like the gold, but I didn't. By the way, when if you're going to add me, uh, metallic to this, I should have mentioned this before. Hopefully, everybody hasn't left. Um, if you are going to add a metallic color like gold or silver um, or copper, you want it. To, you want to do it last. Now, the kicker on that is, is it doesn't move like other um, uh, alcohol inks you have to kind of help it along a little bit. So that's, in that case, if you do want to be sparing in your uh, usage and um, you can use your heat gun or your torch to kind of help it move, I would heat it before you put it on so that it moves immediately. Once it starts to set, it really sets. So um, I might add some gold to this now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know, hmm. Should I stop messing with it, uh, <laughs> Tracy? Should I just leave it alone or should I add gold? First one that answers is what I'm gonna do. Leave it alone or add some gold? Hmm, what do you think? It's already set though, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't mess with that. Add gold? <laughs> All right touch of gold. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it and we're going to hope that
This is when I get into trouble, by the way, guys, because I overdo. I'm an overdoer. A heavy-handed overdoer. Okay, here we go. So I heated it up. Make sure you shake your metals really well. You can hear the ball rolling. Okay. I always check the bottom because if it's stuck on the bottom, you can tell. It's just kind of stuck, but I just used this yesterday. So, okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Like how we scream when I'm doing stuff I'm not sure about. Oh, loaded, loaded. No, yep, it's not spreading. Alright. Go, spin, be free, flow, flow like the wind. It's not flowing. If you catch your epoxy on fire, just blow it out. <laughs> just Don't catch your epoxy on fire. It's bad. Um, Ooh. Yeah, this gold does not want to move. forceful in my I just don't want to jack up all the other colors that I've done so Ta -da! Ooh, I kind of like how this I'm going to all right so that one's good this one and this is literally just a skewer uh, and I'm just drawing little lines through it connecting it to other colors so it doesn't look quite so all right I like that do y'all like that Yeah, actually, Heather, because I had my, this stuff here, but it's not. I'm going to try that. Let's see. Let's see what happens, Heather. I'm going to try it. I put it on my finger. Does that help? Oh, it's kind of cool, actually. Um, it's pulling the colors from behind forward. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to have to try that. Thank you, Heather. I haven't tried that before. I usually use the um, extra, but it's kind of gotten hard. So Solo has my little spoons. <laughs> oh, I love my little spoons. They are like they're the best I had literally have a whole little pot of them um, my family knows when they go to Baskin Robbins to get me a taster spoon so anyway um you can see where I drug it through you can see the lines which I kind of dig I think it's adding some dimension to it but um, Heather said to try some alcohol in the middle which I did and it's actually pulled it's opened it up so you can kind of see the black through it you can also can you guys see that I'm gonna see if I can do it closer. I just sprayed it on my hand, huh? Um, so that it's just a drop. Now when it comes around again, hopefully, you can see how it's spread it out right there. Ooh, that's very cool. I'm liking that a little bit. So okay, I learned something new too. 
and I now have sticky hands. Um, took my gloves off too soon. Anyway, um, so that's it. And um, I do another one. I saw another uh, another lady had one out the other day, um, but I do them in browns. Um, if you do a whole family of browns, um, I think she was calling it her Frappuccino cup or something like that. Um, it looks really cool. If you do a whole bunch of different color browns, not a whole bunch, I would say three different colors, a light, a medium, and a dark, and then you intermix your white with it, and you swirl it a lot. I mean, add, like, make sure your epoxy is really moving, have a lot of it on there, and it does this really cool swirl. When you want a lot of movement, you need more epoxy, and you need to have it warm and, and grooving, like you can see it moving um, if you want to add your color and you want to kind of just have it do a swirl of a storm or something so not going all the way around the cup then you do a little bit less epoxy and you let it set for a minute kind of like I did here because I didn't want big swirls all the way around I wanted small storms instead of the big storm so and that's kind of what this is you can see I have like little bursts of color and movement but nothing is really swirling all the way around the cup. So, that's that. Okay, um, I will reverse my rotation in about 20 to 30 minutes um, on my cup. And not really, it, if I'm having trouble with something covering, uh, I will do it sooner, but I really like how this is setting on the cup. It's left an open area. It's got uh, some movement to it. So yeah, I like how this one is. But yeah, I will. I almost always reverse my uh, reverse my cup if I'm having a problem with epoxy, um, or if I'm wanting more uh, stationary placement. So does that make sense? Huh. Yeah, that'd be cool, Heather. Okay, so that's just about it, guys. Um, yeah, I like the gold in there. It adds a little bit. So, all right. Well, hopefully uh, you guys like this. I will probably add it to my uh, channel, my baby channel. Um, and I will put it in the tutorial uh, group, tutorial tab in the group. So, okay. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Hope.